It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for 10. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for 10. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. And thank you and welcome to Science Bowl, the science quiz show here in the Prince George's schools. This is the opening day of the elementary competition and this our 32nd year here in Prince George's schools. We ask you to play along and test your own science IQ. Let's meet today's teams. First from Heather Hills Elementary, would you please welcome to the program, Stephen Adams, Ajibola Ajani, and Shabbat Singh. And from Pointer Ridge, would you please welcome Taylor Sterling, Aiden McFarlane, and Carrington Boyd. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. People green are things, this at home. questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. And here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty. With the easier questions on the left, they're worth 5 and 10 points. Tougher ones, 15, 20, ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. And to the two rounds today, one of these talented, good-looking teams will come back to play our game again and perhaps advance to the county championship. Let's go over and make sure everything's working properly before we start. Let's go to the red team. Heather Hills, would you try that buzzer at Jabola? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Stephen and Shabad and the green team. Aiden, give it a push. Looking and sounding good. Good luck to you and to Carrington and Taylor. Are you ready to do this? Yes, sir. Absolutely. We are so thrilled to have you guys here. May the better team win, but you've already won. Just by being here, you are great ambassadors for your school. So just relax and have a good time. We go alphabetically H before P. So Heather Hills and Ajibola, let's play this bowl. Go. Can we have body systems for 10, please? Body systems for 10 points. Teams, you probably never thought about this before, but if you're a fireman, you can't grow one of these because you couldn't put an oxygen mask over your face and have a tight seal if you had one. Ajibola. Beards. A beard. They can't wear beards. That's why if you watch the TV show Chicago Fire or any of those, none of those guys can wear beards. It's for safety's sake. Good answer, young man. Go red. Ajibola, you pick. Let's get physical. Let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical for 10 points. Teams, the amount of radiation a person absorbs used to be measured in units called RADS, R-A-D-S. Now they are measured in units with the same name as the word that is in front of anatomy on a TV show or in front of that a book that is used in medical school. What color am I talking about? Yes, Aiden. Red. Not red, no. Ejibola. Gray. Gray, yes, as in Gray's Anatomy. G-R-E-Y for the TV show and G-R-A-Y for the book. And for the unit, it is G-R-A-Y. All right, nice comeback. Thanks, Steve, for your help. Ejibola. Zoo Parade for 10, please. Zoo Parade for 10 points. Look at the monitor, please. This is a visual question. Teams, you may never have seen one of these birds before. This is called a secretary bird because its feathers stick out over his ears like pencils. Even though this bird is not a raptor, like an eagle, it doesn't have talons, because it kills snakes by kicking them, you would still call the secretary bird a bird of what? Because it eats other things. A bird of what, Aiden? Hunger. Not hunger, no. It is a bird of what? Because it does hunt other things, Ajibola. Predators? Ooh, close. A bird of prey. It's called a bird of prey. And I heard you guys 
whispering that over there, you always decide what answer you're going to give. I like the Furman, I like the talking, you're playing real well. All right, it's 70 to 50, red advantage. Adjibola, go. Green things for 10, please. Green things for 10, green things for 10 points. Teams, your question is as follows. The coconut is the world's biggest seed. The smallest seed is the seed that is used to make this condiment that along with ketchup, we spread on hot dogs. Aiden. Tomatoes. Not to, no, not tomatoes. This seed is made into what condiment that along with ketchup is spread on hot dogs, Adjibola? Relish. Mustard. The mustard seed is the tiniest seed. Yeah, don't beat yourself up. You're making good guesses. Go red. Science potpourri for 10, please. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, you'll know this answer. Get ready on your buzzer. You know, when babies grow up, they grow out of their clothes so quickly because they grow so fast. Well, now they've come up with a new kind of clothing for kids that folds out as the kid gets bigger. It's based on this Japanese paper folding method. Adjibola. Diapers? No. Pointer Ridge. Pasta Canton. Um, what's it called? What's it called, Carrington? That paper folding method, the Japanese paper folding method? It is, is it? Oh, it's on the tip of her tongue. Origami, yeah. origami is what we wanted there. All right, Heather Hills, go. You've never played this game before. Give yourselves a break. You'll get with it. Go, Red. Go. You pick. You choose. Zoop Red for five, please. Zoop Red for five points. Teams, you'll know this one. What wireless company is named for a chirpy insect? Pointer Ridge. Cricket. Cricket, yeah, good. Five points, you're on the board. Go green. Uh, let's do green things for five. Green things for five points. Teams, if you've seen the Ice Age movies, that critter called Scrat is nuts about one of these that he can never catch. Pointer Ridge. Uh, nine. Wait, no, wait, wait. What'd you say? An acorn. An acorn, that's right. Good, green, go. Okay, okay, great. All right. uh, can we do body systems for five? Body systems for five points. Teams, if Aiden says to Carrington, I want you to keep this secret. If Ed Jabola tells Steve, you can't say a word to anybody, you're telling each of them, you better button your what's. You better button your what's, Adjibola. Lips. Your lips, exactly right. Don't you say a word. Don't you say a word if you want to stay on this team. Go red. Go ahead. Science potpourri for 15, please. Science potpourri for 15 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor, please. You might have seen this book or read this book called The Enormous Egg. It's about eggs that hatch into dinosaurs, like that kind of three-horned dinosaur. Name it, Aiden. Triceratops. That's it, Triceratops. <laughs> Uncle Beasley was one of the ones that was hatched in that book. The buzzer says the first round is over and our score is a dead heat. 75 for Heather Hills, 75 for Porn Ridge. We'll be back in just a moment for the second part of Science Bowl. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. So good to have you here today. As I was saying at the top of the show, this is our first show for elementary schools in our new school year. And this is our 32nd year. And let's go find out a little bit about our players. And Heather Hills, it's kind of an anniversary. When we started way back in 1986-87, you were a champion, and we have not seen Heather Hills in 30, kind of 30 years, so welcome back, Heather Hills. Good to have you here, our Bowie School. And Adjibola, tell us about Heather Hills. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Manuel. Yes, indeed, and she's out there rooting for you, I know. And your sponsor is Mr. Roman, is it not? Yes, and he is so happy to have you guys here, and I know he's prepared you well. Even though I know you didn't have a lot of notice, I know you're ready to do this thing. Edgeable, are there alternates on your team? Is there one? Yes, we have one. She's Ida. Ida, and Ida is out there. She's rooting for you, too. Tell me what you really like about Heather Hills. What do you like to brag about? You know, I'm proud of my school because... Well, I'd say that what I like about my school is that the teachers and the principal and everyone else, they're always making sure we're okay, making sure we're doing our best. 
Like if you were to be in our school for about a day or two, mm -hmm. you would see that you would find the principal walking to each class, looking at everyone doing their work, making sure everyone's okay. Wow. I want to go there. I'm too old, but I want to go there. That sounds like a wonderful place. It's a nice commercial. You did that really well, Adjibola. Tell me about yourself. What do you want to do someday? Well, I want to become a doctor just like my dad. Like your dad, yeah. Is there a specialty that you're thinking about or don't you know yet? I'm still researching my right. head. That's right. You have plenty of time to decide. You're a good captain, young man. And Shabbat, nice to have you here. You want to be a doctor as well. Is it in your family? Are there other doctors in your family too? Yeah, my mom, my dad. Oh my goodness, both. So you would really be following in, in their footsteps there. Uh, what do you do in your spare time, Shabbat? Uh, I like to read and um, draw. Yeah, and you told me you like to read fiction, right? Is there a book maybe that you read recently that you would like to recommend to us? Like a book you couldn't put down and you didn't want to end? Mockingbird. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. And Stephen, nice to have you here today. You play soccer, right? Do you play on an organized team of any kind? Uh, Bowie Bulldogs. Wonderful, wonderful. So you're a scholar and an athlete. You obviously do well in school. What's your favorite subject? And if it's not science, I'm not going to take points away from you. <laughs> um, either math or science. Wonderful, wonderful. And what do you want to do professionally someday? Would you like to be a professional soccer player? Um, I want to become an archaeologist. Archaeologist. Yeah, we were talking about that. And you found some shark's teeth, didn't you? Down there at Calvert Cliffs. And uh, how many did you get? Um, not, not a lot. Like, not a lot. Yeah, but each one is precious because they are hundreds of thousands of years old, maybe millions of years in some cases. Thank you, Stephen. Nice to have you here. Pointer Ridge, good to have you guys here. Our Captain Aiden, nice to have you with us. Who's, who's your principal there? Uh, our principal is Dr. Stevenson. Wonderful. And I know she's been here at the Science Bowl a number of times. And your sponsor is Miss Reedy, and we thank Miss Reedy for always being here. She brings us great teams every single year, and I know she prepared you guys well. Aiden, who's your alternate? Our alternate is Hatter. Wonderful. And he's out there. He's rooting for you. <laughs> Tell me, best thing about Pointer Ridge? Uh, I think the best thing about Pointer Ridge is all the teachers, like, they will work with you until you understand something, and they'll always help you uh, figure something out if you don't understand it. Yeah, because sometimes, you know, it's, it doesn't make any sense. You know, everybody else is getting it, not you. But if the teacher is there and takes his or her time, that means everything. Because we all learn at different paces. Thank you, young man. Uh, tell me what you want to do someday. Uh, I want to be a baseball player. Yeah. And what position? Uh, third. OK. Manny Machado? Yeah? That's your favorite player? Yeah. Yeah. All right. I can see you as a baseball player. And you're a good captain, too. Carrington. Origami. Have you ever done origami? No, I tried. Just yeah, <laughs> but that paper floating, it's kind of, they can make things, they can make uh, ducks and praying mantises and all kinds of intricate things. Tell me about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? What I do in my spare time, I play basketball. Yeah. Um, get, get you outside, yeah. you know, into the fresh air. Yes, I, play, I play with my friends and um, I read, I read um, different books about about like just different people and things that really interest me. Of course, of course, you know, and uh, uh, reading just takes you into a different world. A lot of things, you find things out and kind of can change the course of your life sometimes. Uh, tell me what you hope to do professionally someday. Um, I want to be a doctor, so when I get older, I'm able to have something else, but when I get when I'm younger, I want to play basketball professionally. Yeah, that's a good plan. Yeah, get in the WNBA, and then when their career's over, you can become a doctor. You got it all planned out. Nice to have you with us, you. Taylor. You're welcome. Nice to have you with us too. Tell us the Taylor story. What do you want to do someday? Well, someday I want to be an actress. Yeah, and well, you have the poise of an actress. I can see you doing that. Is there an actress that you look up to that you would like to model yourself on? Well, there's like a lot of actresses and actors out there, but I would really like to thank Jace Norman, who plays Henry on Henry Danger, a show that <laughs> I love to watch. Uh, okay, that's a good choice. That's a good choice. Have you acted in anything yet? No, not yet, but I hope to someday. I hope so, too. When the school plays come up, you know, volunteer. Go to those auditions. I know you'll do well. Let's get back into the game. 75 points for each team. We have a tie. Last correct answer came from the green team. Lots of points to give away, especially the tougher questions. Aiden, you choose. Uh, let's do, let's get physical for 15. Let's get physical for 15 points. Teams, the powder that is used by gymnasts is the softest mineral on the Mohs scale. What is that powder that they rub on their hands before they jump on the bars? 
I also put it on a baby's bottom. It's called talcum powder. Talc. Try again, green. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. All right, teams, you know, sometimes trees grow too big and you got to prune them. You got to cut off some of the branches, which means a lot of the leaves are taken away too, which means the plant can't make as much food through what food making process that plants use, Pointer Ridge. Photosynthesis. That's right. That's a tough word to say. You did a nice job on that. Photosynthesis. The green team got the green question. Go. <laughs> uh, Dateline science for 10. Dateline for 10 points. All right, teams. What same word means the part of the glacier that fell off Antarctica earlier this year and the way cows give birth? What same word describes both of those events? Calving. Calving. You produce a calf. You calve when you produce a glacier, and a cow calves when it gives birth to you don't call them baby cows, you call them calves, right? I guess you could call them baby cows. Okay, let's talk to each other a little bit more here. All right, sure. Bob, let's help out too. Taylor, uh, help out Aiden. Uh, you pick it, Aiden. Uh, body systems for 15. Body systems for 15 points. Teams, sad to say, one of the most common sites for men to get skin cancer is on these two sense organs. They're part of a pair made of cartilage. Skin cancer, paired sense organs, made of cartilage, pointer ridge. Bones? No, sense organs was your clue here, edubola. Kidneys? Ears, ears. Skin cancer, ears made of cartilage, okay? Everything I say, there's a little clue inside each one, so do listen to those clues, and I know you're trying. Go pointer ridge. Uh, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, one of the biggest sources of pollution are these plastic tubes that we use for drinking. Pointer Ridge? Straws. Straws, yeah. People just throw those plastic straws everywhere. They don't break down, and they're a big problem. All right, I like the high five and then the slapping going over on over there. You got a 20 point advantage, Pointer Ridge. Where do we go next? Uh, let's get physical for five. Let's get physical for five points, teams. The singer Prince is probably best known for his song about this purple precipitation. Ejibola. Pastor Steven. Rain. Rain, purple rain. That's the purple precipitation. Thank you, Steve. Go Ejibola. You got the advantage now. Yes, sir. Uh, can we have Zoo Parade for 15, please? Zoo Parade for 15 points, you sure can. Teams, there is a TV commercial all the time. You see it. It's for a drug called Prevagen that helps with short-term memory loss. And they say that it's made from the protein of one of these gelatinous things in the ocean that sting you. Jellyfish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wave. Pointer Ridge rang in. Jellyfish it is. All right, the stinging solenderates that, boy, they hurt when they sting, don't they? All right, 110 to 80 advantage, green. Uh, daylight science for five. Daylight science for five points. Team, some astronomers warned that our GPS devices might be upset by this recent celestial event. Eclipse. Solar eclipse. Solar eclipse, yeah, thanks, Shabbat, you got it. Yeah, they said that, you know, all kinds of things. You could lose your sight, your GPS wasn't going to work. Uh, luckily, most of those things did not happen. Red, go. Deadline signs for 15, please. Deadline signs for 15 points. Teams, you know this man. He has been on The Simpsons. He has been on The Big Bang Theory. This scientist who says we may have to leave Earth in 300 to 500 years is best known for discovering black holes and for coping with his ALS disease as, yes, Pointer Ridge. Pass to Carrington. Sheldon Cooper? Not Sheldon, Sheldon Cooper. <laughs> Sheldon Cooper is the uh, scientist on the Big Bang Theory. Good try, Carrington. Heather Hills, who is the real life scientist who suffers from ALS and has spent his life in a wheelchair. He discovered black holes and he says we may have to leave Earth in a few hundred years. Any idea? Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking. He's the man who talks in that robotic voice. Okay, go red. Where next? Okay, we have all the big ones left, all right? 
Body system for 20, please. Body system for 20 points. All right, teams, this is a multiple choice question, so listen to the word, listen to the word, and listen to the choices. If you have a condition called heterochromia, woo, heterochromia, does that mean that you are colorblind, that you're far-sighted, or that you have eyes of different colors? Eyes Point of different of colors? Eyes of different colors, that's right. Hetero means different. That was your clue there. That was your clue. Nicely done. Green. Uh, can we do green things for 25, please? Green things for 25 points. All right, teams, your question is as follows. I hope you studied the parts of the flower and the parts of plants. This P initial tube in the stem takes food from the leaves down into the roots. P initialed for 25 points. Come on, HH. Pastor Shabbat. Pistol. Not pistol. Good try. That's a good P initialed word. What is the P initial hey, tube? What were you thinking, Pointer Ridge? Pedal. Pedal is another P. It's called the phloem. P H L O E M. Phloem. Good try. No points. Come on, Aiden. Go. Uh, let's do. Science potpourri for 20. Science potpourri for 20 points. You might have heard of this story. It is true. At one time, coal miners, when we went down into the ground, they would take one of these yellow birds in a cage with them. Because if there were dangerous gases down there, the bird would stop singing. Oh, it would die, and it would let the men know that the gases were so bad they had to get out of the mine. What, do we, what is the name of that yellow bird they took down with them? Pastor Aiden. Taylor. Taylor. A canary? Yes, ma'am, the canary. The canary in the coal mine. All right. You pulled that one out. Good. Green. Go. Uh, let's do, let's get physical for 25. Let's get physical for 25. The big one in that category, teams, you're quick. It is a three-part answer. You only have to give me two parts. Pinball machines. I love pinball machines. They're making a comeback. And if you play pinball, you're learning a lot about physics, about forces. There are three forces in the pinball machine. They begin with, these are the first letters of the three forces. You only need to give me two. There is one that begins with a G, one with an F, and one with an M. Can you give me two of the three forces that you are demonstrating when you play pinball? Forces that begin with G, F, and M. Can you give me any two? No one's going to try. No one's even going to ring in. All right, I like that. Come on, Aiden, give it a shot. Uh, gravity and what, force. F, F and M. Force. Not force. Good try. Girls, you're not helping them out there this time. Echibola, what are you giving? Gravity and friction. Yeah, gravity and friction, and the M was the magnetism. All right, Red, you're roaring back. Let's go. Zoop Red for 25, Zoop please. Red for 25, the big one in this category. All right, teams. If you were listening to the news last summer, off the coast of Ocean City, if you can believe it, the world's biggest fish was seen. What is the name of the world's biggest fish for 25 points, Heather Hills? Whales? Whale shark. Not quite, not whale. Pointer Ridge, the world's biggest fish. Pasta Carrington. I don't know. What you got, young lady? Megalodon shark. Megalodon Shark? 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 No, not a megaton shark. It is a whale shark. A whale shark. Steve, I heard you whispering that. Adjibola, listen to your teammate. He, he would have gotten you the points that time. Go red. Okay, let's go, guys. Pick one. Soup red for 20, please. Soup red for 20 points. All right, teams. Uh, we know that the Political parties in this country are represented by animals. The Democrats are represented by the donkeys and the Republicans by the elephants. Well, there was a president called Theodore Roosevelt, and he belonged to a party that was named for this biggest kind of deer in America. The biggest deer in America is Aiden. Reindeer? Not the reindeer. Good try. The biggest kind of deer in America is... Buck. Buck? Not the, the moose. The moose. Teddy Roosevelt was on the bull moose ticket. All right, red. Come on, you can still do this thing. You're 40 points behind. Green. Oh, we won't have time because that buzzer says we've run out of time. We'll be right back with a wrap up of this game. Don't you go away. 
And welcome back. What a great game today. Six young people had never been here before. Boy, did they do a terrific job. Let's give everybody a hand. Great job today. Great job today. Our final tally is Heather Hills 110, Pointer Ridge 150. Congratulations, Taylor and Aiden and Carrington. You're going to move on in the competition. Hater, good congratulations to you. And Miss Reedy, thank you always for bringing us such a great team. And let's see some big smiles over here, Heather Hills. You waited 30 years and it was worth the wait. You did a super job. Stephen and Ajibola and Shabad. And where is Ida? She's over there. And Mr. Roman, thank you for being part of Science Bowl. Don't wait another 30 years to come back. Nice to have you here today, too. And we'll see you next time on the Science Bowl. I'm Dave Zarin. Bye-bye.